Some workers of Samsung Electronics Company, one of the world's largest producers of smartphones and other technology devices on Friday stage a protest to demand increments in performance bills, bonus payments and additional day to the company workers paid annual leave. Many considered the strike action by the workers as historical on the ground that the founder of Samsung, Lee Bai Chou, who died in 1987, was strictly opposed to the formation of unions, saying he would never allow them until I have that over my eyes. It may be recalled that Samsung Electronics had its first workers' union formed in the late 2010. Reuters reported that eight members of the Samsung Electronics Union staged the protest in South Korea on Friday and AFP report indicated that the total numbers of the workers' union that staged the protest at the company headquarters were 10 in numbers. Details of the strike action, as reported by AFP International News Agency and as well as its recapture by Punch newspaper reads verbatim below. Workers at tech giant Samsung Electronics in South Korea staged the first strike at the company on Friday. The head of a major union representing tens of thousands of people said. Samsung Electronics is one of the world's largest smartphone makers and also one of the only companies globally to produce high-end memory chips used for generative AI, including top-of-the-line artificial intelligence hardware from industry leaders such as NVIDIA. Management at the firm, the world's biggest producer of memory chips, has been locked in negotiations with the union over wages and benefits since January but the two sides have failed to narrow their differences. Lee Ion Cook, vice president of the National Samsung Electronics Union, said Friday's collective action was largely symbolic, but it's a beginning. We have plans for follow-up strikes if the management is not willing to communicate with us openly, Lee told AFP. The union is not ruling out an all-out general strike. Union health Sun Woonwok added that the first strike at Samsung Electronics was taking place through the use of paid leave, and it is understood that many employees are participating. It's difficult to provide an exact number, but from what I've seen of the workplace attendance in the morning, there is a significant difference from the usual, he said. Samsung Electronics said it has been diligently engaging in negotiations with the union and will continue to do so, and that there is no impact on production and business activities. The paid leave usage rate on Friday was lower than that of June 5th last year, which, like June 7th, was sandwiched between a public holiday and a weekend, the company said in a statement. Around 10 workers held a protest in front of Samsung's major office in Seoul on Friday, chanting, Respect Labor. Samsung Electronics is the flagship subsidiary of South Korean giant Samsung Group, by far the largest of the family-controlled conglomerates that dominate business in Asia's fourth largest economy. The company has offered workers a pay hike of 5.1% this year. The union told AFP on Friday that it is willing to positively review that offer if Samsung also provides an additional day of annual leave and transparent performance-based bonuses. Taiwan-based market research firm Trendforce said that the strike would not impact drum and NAND flash production, nor would it cause any shipment shortages. Samsung accounts for a significant chunk of global output of the high-end chips, but the strike involves headquarters employees, not workers on the production lines, Trendforce said in a report. Finally, firms rely heavily on automated production and require minimal human labor. Therefore, the strike will not have any substantial impact on the future memory supply, the report said. Even so, the strike carries historical importance, since Samsung resisted unionization and engaged in union busting for so long. Vladimir Tikhonov, professor of Korean studies at the University of Oslo, told AFP. He said the collective action showed that there is a gradual tendency towards empowerment of labor in South Korea. Samsung Electronics avoided the unionization of its employees for almost 50 years, sometimes adopting ferocious tactics, according to critics, while rising to become the world's largest smartphone and semiconductor manufacturer. Samsung founder Lee Bai-on Cho, who died in 1987, was adamantly opposed to unions, saying he would never allow them until I have that over my eyes. The first labor union at Samsung Electronics was formed in the late 2010s. In 2020, Lee Jae Young, the company's then vice chairman and the founder's grandson, apologized to everyone who has been paid by labor issues at Samsung, adding he would make sure the company is not criticized for union-free management. Still, the National Samsung Electronics Union, which has around 28,000 members, or more than a fifth of the company's total workforce, has said the word strike has been a double word at the tech giant. Union deputy Lee told AFP that the strike won't lead to a disruption in production and we don't want it to lead into one. We just want Samsung to hear our voice, he said. Semiconductors are the lifeblood of the global economy used in everything from kitchen appliances and mobile phones to cars and weapons. They are South Korea's leading exports and hit $11.7 billion in March, accounting for a fifth of total exports, according to trade ministry figures. Shares of Samsung Electronics closed down 0.13% on Friday. Osasuwa Kang Nebel, bringing you the news in a more digital way.